Hey everyone, uh, sorry again for having to cancel last night. Um, the good news is the car is good now. The bad news is it costs like five hundred dollars to fix. But anyway, it's fun. It's, it's safe. It's good. Mom, I'm safe. My kids are safe because they were with me in the car at the time. That was exciting. But anyway, um, since I missed class, we didn't have class. I wanted to give like the quick video update for everyone. Kind of just let you know what, what I planned on going over in class on Wednesday, and also um, kind of gonna recap the homework a little bit. So. Uh, this Wednesday, I was planning on having you all watch in class that video, um, was it how to get the most out of studying, is that what it was called? Yeah, how to get the most out of studying. And um, it's like a se almost seven minute video, so <coughs> excuse me. make sure you watch that uh, because half of the homework questions this week are having to do with that. Um, again, it's not that long, but there, there's a lot of information packed into that. So that's in the week one folder. Um, under uh, the narrative essay assignment. So just go to essay one narrative and then click on the week one folder, um, May 9th through May 15th. Give that video a watch. Uh, if you haven't watched the other one, the Duckworth video, uh, she talks about grit, the power of passion and perseverance. Make sure you watch that as well. That one is um, roughly the same as the other video, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, watch that because the first three homework questions have to do with that. And also within the narrative week one folder, make sure you go to the discussion board post. Um, all you do is click where it says week one discussion board and um, go in there and just basically introduce yourself and I think it says like respond to at least one other classmate um, as well. Now for the for the homework questions, I'm not going to give you the answers of course, but I am going to just kind of run through these real quick. And of course if you have any questions about these, please you know shoot me an email or um, you can even schedule a virtual conference chat with me um, before Sunday before these are due. So the first question here, it's, it's right underneath. So in this folder, you've got the grit video, you've got the how to get the most out of studying video, and then after that is assignment one. And there's six questions. And the first one says, according to Duckworth, Angela Duckworth, she's the one giving the TED Talk, uh, what is the definition of grit and why is it important? So a pretty straightforward question there. She, she talks about grit a lot throughout that video. Just basically, you know, what does she say it is? And um, how does she, or even you, how do you view that as important? Uh, by the way, it says each of these um, answers should be five to seven sentences. So to get full credit, I think this is worth five points. To get full credit, make sure you have at least five to seven sentences per response. Now the second question says, how does Duckworth describe growth mindset and what role does that play in success? Again, I'm not going to give you the answer, but I will tell you that um, she starts talking about growth mindset just before the five minute mark in that video. So obviously watch the whole video, but when you get to number two, um, kind of a little you know, cheat for you there just to kind of jump to the five minute mark where she starts talking about growth mindset and that can kind of help you out. And then number three is it's very uh, subjective because it's just asking. I mean, subjective means like there's, it's just your opinion. Uh, what role will grit play in your academic and professional pursuits? If you were in class um, Monday night, we talked a little bit about this, but um, yeah, there's no wrong answer for this. How do you think you will use grit? Uh, how will it play a factor in your um, success in school? whether it be in this class or any classes going forward, and also um, in, in your job, in your professional pursuits. Now the next three questions, starting with number four, talk about Dr. Stephen Chu. He's the one who um, talks about metacognition in the video, how to get the most out of studying. The first question says, according to Dr. Stephen Chu, what is metacognition and how does it impact students? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just kind of like grit with, um, with Duckworth, that's the main thing that's talked about in that video. So make sure you have a good handle, good understanding of that. If you're, if you're struggling with that concept, Please let me know sooner rather than later. Uh, number five asks, what are the beliefs that make you stupid? <laughs> I love how he calls it that. And those are in quotes. Beliefs that make you stupid. Why are these beliefs commonly held by students? Um, again, I wa watch the whole video. It's important. But I will tell you that he starts talking about that right around the one minute and 30 second mark of the video. So watch through. And if you want to jump back to that, you know, to answer question number five, the 130 mark is um, where that is. And then finally, it says, how do you rate your metacognition? Uh, it says, what are strengths? I think it means, what are your strengths? And then what are your opportunities uh, for growth? Again, just like number three, this is it's totally up to you. It's your opinion. Whatever you think, uh, whatever your opinion is on that, uh, that's your answer. So go through those uh, questions one through six. It's in the week one narrative folder. Uh, if you're having trouble locating that, please let me know. Don't wait until the last minute. And uh, there's six questions. It should be five to seven sentences per answer. Um, there is, let's see. There is um, a video right under the questions, the MLA format, that shows you how to set up the paper. Excuse me, you don't have to do it exactly this way. I, I want your essays to look a certain way, and I'll go over that more in class on Monday. 
as long as your answers for this first assignment are legible, um, I'm fine with how you organize it. You don't have to copy and paste each question. You, know, like you don't have to say, according to Angela Duckworth, what's the definition of grit? But still, I would like you to uh, number them, though. Uh, so please do that, because it'll be easier for me. And also, when you, when you do these questions, open up um, a word processing document, whether you use like Word, Docs, or whatever, um, and type your answers into that, save that, and then upload that file. It's probably a docx. Um, up, upload that to the submission page. Don't just type your answer in manually. I don't know if you type like this or not. But, uh, don't just type it in manually. Um, it'll give me a headache because I won't be able to read it because everything will be just, like jammed together. Uh, and again, if you have any questions or problems with that, uh, please let me know. Don't forget, this is all due uh, Sunday. The was it the fifteenth? Yeah, Sunday, May fifteenth, by eleven fifty nine p.m. Um, that is due then, and then the week one discussion board post is also due then. Um, let's see. Uh, I do have some discussion questions I was going to go over for the um, how to get the most out of studying video. These aren't the same questions as the homework. It's just kind of generate discussion. I, I may go over those in class on Monday. Uh, as for Monday, there's nothing you have to, at least as of now, there's nothing I need you to read or do in advance. I may post a brief update uh, over the weekend. But as for now, just make sure you watch how to get the most out of studying video, answer the six discuss the six questions for the homework, and then post uh, your response, the introduction to the, uh, the week one discussion board. Uh, if you have any questions, confusion, concerns, you know, please email me. Uh, just if you, if you haven't seen it, it's jeremy.rubio, R-U-B-I-O, at cincinnatistate.edu. And um, I'll get back to you within 24 hours, probably sooner during the week. And uh, also, if you would, if you'd rather have like a face-to-face -face with me, we can I can schedule a virtual chat as well. Uh, we'll, we'll try to figure out a time that works for for us all. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got. This is a seven-minute video, so I think that's that's enough out of me for now. Have a good weekend, and I will see you all in class next Monday. All right, take care.